Well, as the general public grows more comfortable with returning to pre-pandemic activities, KXAN's Monica Madden explains what experts are predicting the future of this virus will be. Their sounds and sights of what we once called normal. I haven't seen a whole lot of masks um, here today. A roaring stadium for Saturday college football. <laughs> and a return to live music festivals. Things that now feel like privileges. It was honestly like really sad that we couldn't like go last year, but I'm really glad to be here this year. But with a closer look, reminders of the COVID-19 pandemic still present after a grim summer wave. This last variant was so contagious, the Delta variant. The state's top epidemiologist says it's hard to determine how long COVID-19 will remain in our communities, but history might give us an idea. We're going to have to rebuild things just like they did after the 1918 flu pandemic. Kids are behind on their immunizations. Kids' educations were impacted. Manufacturing around the world has been impacted. And so there's a whole lot of recovery that still needs to happen. But as far as the virus circulating, I think that it will become less impactful to our lives. This has been incredibly taxing for our healthcare system. Dallas physician Dr. John Carlo says the idea of the COVID-19 pandemic becoming an endemic, a disease that never goes away, is daunting for an already burnt out healthcare system and society. I hope we don't get to that point where we sort of are settled with the idea that this this coronavirus exists as what we'd sort of see as our flu season. I think the key differences in my mind is the mortality rate. He also says herd immunity has to be a global goal. We're not where we need where we need to be in many places throughout the world, which gives us an ever present risk, you know, new transmissions coming back into our communities, but new variants. And that was Monica Madden reporting. Both doctors agree there are still tools to help us get through the worst of this pandemic. The first being vaccinating as many people as possible, including children, because it prevents severe infection and protects other people. The second is therapies like antibody treatments to pair with vaccination.